What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to your lower body workout, the longest workout for the legs this challenge. We're in week three of the four week transformation challenge. If you have missed all of the other workouts, I encourage you to start from day one. But right now we're in week three and we're wrapping it up and we're almost done. I mean, I hope you guys have been crushing it. I really hope so. But right now we have a 45 minute lower body workout. Now I'm gonna go ahead and talk you through it just like I did with the upper body workout. I got a lot of feedback from that one and I see that you guys really enjoy the talk throughs, me helping you, giving you a few tips here and there. So that's what we're gonna do for this workout right here. 45 minutes of excruciating pain on the lower body, all right? I'm talking quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, we're getting it in. We're gonna run through five supersets. A superset is where we are gonna hit an exercise A and an exercise B back to back, and that will be one set, and then we'll do it again, that'll be two sets. We're gonna do it another time for three sets. So we're gonna do three sets of 15 on each superset, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer just to make sure that we're at a good pace and that we are following along through this workout and we're not taking too long of breaks. We don't want our breaks to be too long. We wanna keep the blood flowing in the lower body and really get the work in. I encourage you all to get you some water. 45 minutes is a long time. We will be hydrating on every rest break. Right now I have some BCAAs inside of my shaker cup right here. This is the Extend BCAs in this one right here, all right? Super good and it's very effective when we're talking about fat burning, when we're talking about energy. You can use this for a post-workout, pre-workout, or intra-workout. So for me, I drank a little bit pre-workout and now I'm gonna continue to drink it throughout the workout just to keep giving me that energy I need. Avoid fatigue, that's key. Also have water. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it off. All right, so first up, first superset, we're gonna do squats, dumbbell squats, holding the dumbbells up right here. You can also hold a dumbbell up right here. We're gonna use two dumbbells. You can use one, it's either or, it does not matter. And then we're gonna superset it with some calf raises and I'll show you how we do that. So 15 reps on the squats, let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells. I like to raise them up right here. Feet at a nice shoulder width position. And then we're gonna go ahead and squat down. We want 15. Focus on your breathing. That's gonna be very, very important. Four. Try not to let your heels go over your toes. Let me go from the side just to show you. Five more. All right. Now, what we're gonna do for our calf raises, we're gonna switch it up, do a little different, all right? We're gonna be down here with it. Move on this side, just so you can see. We're gonna be on our, on our heels, on our knees. I can't even get it out. We're gonna be on our toes the whole time. I want your heels up. And I want your dumbbell in your lap. Then we're gonna calf up. Place your hands right here on the ground if you need to. Just keep that balance. But that dumbbell should be resting in your lap. Be a killer. All right. Hope that was a good angle for you. I'll switch it up for the next round, but 
That's the first round for that superset. So that's set one. We're gonna do two more. Go ahead and get your breath. Get you some water if you need to. You should always need to, but I will say do not chug the water. All right, no chugging water. Let me make sure I turned on the mic. It's very important. I don't wanna just be talking to you all. Yep. All right, the mic is on. Quads are already pumped. <laughs> you get a nice, you get a nice pump from them calf raises as well. I created this workout specifically to give you guys that work. All right. So now we're gonna switch it up. Back to the top with our squats. And make sure I'm not losing any mic. There we go. All right, let's get it. For our upper body workout that we just did yesterday, we went ahead and used one dumbbell. In this lower body, I wanna get a little bit more work for you guys, so I'm grabbing two dumbbells. But some of these exercises, just like you saw with how we're about to do this calf raise, I'm gonna be using one. So every now and again, we'll use one, and then we'll use two. So just switching it like that. So you decide, like I said, you don't need two dumbbells. I want more work. I'm coming here for more work. All right, calf raise. Hopefully you guys can see it good. All right, so we're down here on our toes like this. Want that dumbbell on our lap. You gotta focus on these. Go ahead and get you some water. All right, we got one more, one more set. You don't have to go at my exact pace, all right? I'm picking the dumbbells up and putting them back down. You can decide to rest a little longer. What you wanna do is make sure your heart rate is going down. You don't wanna be jumping in here. Can barely breathe, we don't want that. So make sure you catch your breath, a little more relaxed, and you jump right back into it. Oh yeah. Woo. All right, I'm getting right back to it. Let's go. All right, squat. Last set, we'll make it count. Kind of rep through it. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. 
45 minutes. We won't be here all night. All right, we're gonna drop down, get these calves. That's our last one right here, so make it count. Stay loose. Y'all see me walking around shaking. I'm starting to stay loose. Don't want my muscles to tighten up while I'm resting. All right, let's get it. I'm gonna show y'all from the front. Right here, dumbbell in there. Ooh, get that balance. Check the balance. Up, down, up. Ooh. Gotta control it. It's not easy. Starting out pretty hard. Remember, you can put your hands right here to avoid tipping over. Water. I'm gonna drink my BCAAs, keep me hydrated. I'm also gonna check the camera, make sure it's on for y'all. And it is good. What we want is the camera to keep rolling so we won't miss any footage. I'll keep checking sporadically, and then if we miss something, we'll just have to repeat and go back over. But for right now, we're good. Checking in at 10 minutes. Took us 10 minutes to get to that first one. So if we keep it this pace, this workout is gonna be about an hour. So we wanna speed it up just a little bit. 45 minutes. Uh, all right, next up, we have some lunge knee ups, all right? And that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna hold the dumbbells right here to our side. Sorry. We're gonna step like this. We're gonna keep one leg front, all right? So one leg is gonna be front. We're gonna have the dumbbells to our sides. We're going to step back just a little bit, keeping a lot of that force, that tension, all that pressure, we want that all on the front leg. We're just gonna drive up like that, all right? I'm gonna show you one more time. Man, this mic's outrageous, all right. Keeping all that, all that weight on the front leg and drop back up like that all right 15. All right, let's get keep all that weight on the front Repeat, do the same thing, put the other side. <laughs> you should feel all that right here. We're dropping back, dropping back. We're getting a lot of, a lot of that stretch. Some contractions going on, other parts of our lower body. But our main focus, when we lunge down, our main focus is having all that weight right here. You can see how tight it is. And then when we drive up, we're driving up and putting all that force right in there. That's tight, that's tense. We're bringing this leg up. We're getting a little mobility. A little mobility work right here in the hips and everything like that too. So, a little functional workout uh, exercise right here. All right, let's go. Other side. Same thing.
Two more. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. Five. Three. Two. Balance. Balance is everything with that one. Cause you gotta kinda of like balance yourself up. Now you're on one leg. It takes a lot out of you. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. Alright, so getting choked up a little bit. Like the mic. Alright, now we do some stiff leg dance. You guys already know how we get down with the leg. The stiff leg dance. Right here. Feet, narrow grip, we're just gonna hinge down. All right, keeping that back somewhat straight. Just feel all that in the hamstrings. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Driving through heels. You don't have to do like this. See a lot of folks doing that. You don't have to do all that. You just want to drop down. You want to squeeze your glutes just like that. Fifteen. All right. All right. Get your breath. That took us about five minutes to get through that one, guys. So. This one may be a little longer of a superset. Don't really worry too much about that. If we have to go over our time, we can go over our time. But we really wanna just focus on make sure we get the work in. Grab me some water. <laughs> Heart rate should be up on these ones. That's what I'm kinda, I wanted, you, I wanted to go through it with you guys, follow along. One, to make sure you're doing it correctly. And two, just to show you that we all breathe heavily through our, through our workouts. Don't think you're any different. Don't think maybe you're not as fit as someone else. No. If you're putting the work in, you should be exhausted after all your workouts. I don't care if your workout is 20 minutes long. Put it, put the work in for 20 minutes. You know what I mean? All right. No talking. I'm about to grab the dumbbell. Get back to work. First, make sure the camera's on, as always. Camera is on. Time to work. All right. I forgot to tell you guys that if for every reason you see I just did 10, I didn't do 15, I did 10. For any reason that you feel your, uh, your form is starting to compromise, you need to make sure that you stop. Do not do any more reps. You never want to compromise your form. If you compromise your, if you compromise your form, uh, you put yourself at a risk for injury, all right? So I stopped at 10, started to wobble a little too much, didn't want to wobble that much. So with that being said, went ahead and dropped the weight. And I'm gonna go ahead with the other side. All right, again, this is balance, so it's a bit functional. All right, you ready? And since I did 10 on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 on these two. I'm gonna just jump right into these stiff legs. I'm feeling good. Glute squeeze. Come on. 
13, 14, water. We got one more. And then call it. Move to the next. Whew. Hope you guys out there feeling it. I hope this workout challenge is going real good for you. It went well for me when I went through it. And I was like, man, it's a bomb ass four weeks. But uh, I just hope you guys are getting a lot out of it. Go ahead and like this video while you're resting. Subscribe if you haven't already. Probably should be subscribed right now so you can stay updated on all the workouts. But if not, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Join the X Factor Fitness team. Let's keep moving. All right, let's move it. Enough talking. Let's move it, let's move it. One, two, ah, yes, all that balance is starting to give. So I gotta do ten. Now, I will say, all that is dependent upon how much weight you're actually holding, all right? I have some heavier dumbbells right here, so if you go a little heavier, it takes more, more out of you, more energy out of you. Um, if you're going lighter, you have some light dumbbells, you probably can zip through those, might even be able to do 20, so. All right, Oop. other side. But we need 10. Hey. One more. All right, let's jump right into stiff legs. Really squeezing those glutes. on that one start to give out guys it'll happen it'll happen i don't want anybody to think they're any different it will happen you will start to give do not compromise form rack the weights <laughs> it's you versus you no one else in here but you stay focused when you're working out don't try to impress all right i'm pumped Legs are pumped right now, feeling good. All right, next up, we're gonna to torch these hamstrings and these glutes. We hit them up right there with our stiff leg deads, but we're really gonna to torch them now. We're gonna do some leg curls, some lion leg curls. This one is not the easiest when we're trying to put it in between our feet place, placement, when we're trying to put the feet with the dumbbells. Sorry, I'm jacking up my words here. But, we can get it in. All right, so place the dumbbell right here, right where you want your feet to be when you lay down. When you lie down, lay down, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna lie down. I want to kind of, before I lay my stomach down, I want to make sure my knees are pointed forward or you know, my thighs or whatever, top of my thigh pointed straight out because I want my knees and my legs to be pretty straight. Then I want to put the middle of my foot. I want to touch my toes right here. It's gonna be super hard for you guys to see, but this dumbbell is gonna rest in between. As you see, I can grab it right now. It's resting in between my uh, insides of my feet, right? I'll show you in a minute when I'm done with this, but 15. Oh, 
oh yeah this feels good guys <sighs> depending on the length of your dumbbell it will touch the ground that's a good time for you to squeeze oh. this is the stretch in the hamstring this is the contraction right there Come on, love it. Fourteen, last one. Fifteen. Then you can just drop it. Just drop it on the ground. Make sure nothing's behind you. You can drop it like that. Now I will say, if for any reason you fail with doing these uh, leg curls, if you fail on like let's say eleven. Let it go, all right? Let it go, we'll revisit it on the next round, all right? You don't have to crank out the last four if you fail. All right, now we're gonna turn around and we're gonna hit some hip thrusts, loop bridges, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna place the dumbbell right here on our lap. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this dumbbell here. Feet right here, straight forward, feet facing forward. Kinda close to my, my glutes, but not all the way. And then we're gonna squeeze, we're gonna squeeze our glutes on the way up, and we're gonna drive through our heels. These are your heels right here. We're gonna drive through our heels. Yeah, it should hurt. It should hurt, but it should be good. Keep my toes off the ground just so I know I'm using nothing but my glutes and my heels. Come on, 13. I think about 13. I lost track. Let's go back to 12. 12. Thirteen. Roll it off. All right. Grab you some water. I'm gonna make sure my camera is turned on. Oh man, legs are on fire right now, guys. Legs are on fire, camera is still rolling. We just cracked. We got about 18 minutes left. Don't know why I sat down like this. This is crazy. Dumbbells back there. <laughs> Grabbing some quick water. All right, we're gonna go jump right back to the top. Make sure you uh, grab your dumbbell. Make sure it's ready. Woo! Losing it, losing it, losing it. Make sure everything's hooked up. Get comfortable with it. Don't just start if you're not all together. Ooh. Cause this right here is everything for those hamstring guys. <sighs> Make you miss the gym. Mix that lion leg curl. But it's all right, we bring the gym to us. <sighs> Come on. Seven. That's great. Let it go, let it fall. I'm gonna jump right in there and do some glutes. Glute bridges, some hip thrusts, whatever you guys like to call it these days. You cool kids. All right, come on. Come 
Come on. Five more. Uh. Come on, one more. Squeeze it. Uh, hold it. Uh. Oh, yeah. That felt great. That felt great. Oh, man. Let's move. Let's move, guys. Let's move. We almost said 30 minutes. Let's move. Let's move. Come on. Oh, man. Feeling good. Feeling good. Oh, feeling good. Okay. Grab it. Let's go. Let's move. Grab you some water if you need to. You don't have to run like me. I like to get it. Ah. Fight for these last five. Let's get it. Eleven. Oh. Oh. Come on. One more. One more. One more. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 All right. Last hip thrust. Last one. Guy in the gym yelling all over the all over the gym, man. That was me. Grab some dumbbells. Ah, that was that guy. Haven't been to the gym in a year, so I'm not that guy anymore. Keep that in mind. Oh, I can't even get up. Oh, you guys are gonna feel that. All right, moving on. We got some sumo deads. Some sumo deadlifts. That's also for the glutes, also for the hams. Okay, sumo deads, and then we're just going to do us some calf raises, all right? Oh, man. I'm feeling it, y'all. Feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. We have just cracked 30 minutes, about 30, 32 ish minutes. So let's try to wrap it up, guys. 13 more minutes. Y'all think we can do it? Doesn't matter if we can or not. Getting the work in, man. No rush. All right. All right. Let's just get right to it. So choose to grab one dumbbell. Choose to grab two. You decide. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one. I'm gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna space my legs out like a sumo deadlift, right? And so what I'm doing here with this sumo dead, let me move this out of the way. And I'm actually gonna use two just to even it out, even out the score, all right? Like right here, some more dead when you're about to grab that bar. Right here. Up. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Go ahead, do 10. Ah. So trying that one out, what I'm thinking is you can switch it up. I want you to try that one out and on the next round, we're gonna go try a different way to do that sumo because there's a lot of different ways to do it. No one way is better than the other, but that's a good way to do it. 
because of the bars kind of on the ground, say the bars on the ground, when you're pulling up, oof, driving. Only problem is dumbbells get in your way a little bit, all right? Now we're just doing some calf raises, keeping it basic. Ooh, grab those dumbbells, and go ahead, feet forward, and just stand up on your tippy toes. We got 15 of these. 12. 14. Ah. Notice what I like to do. If you guys saw that, I like to rock back, right? So here, stand up. And I like to rock back on my heels just a little bit without falling. But I like to pick my toes up off the ground just to loosen it up, get that nice stretch, and then boom. See what I mean? Stretching the calf, boom, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna show you the other way for a sumo dead. Another way for a sumo dead, holding it like this, back in that same position, but instead of just like that. Squeezing the boots, you can squeeze a little better with this one because the dumbbell is right in front of you, not in the way. There it is. Come on. Two more. Nine. Ten. Notice I went ahead and dropped it from 15 to 10. Did you catch that? <laughs> All right. Calf raises. <clears throat> Show you right here. Show you a little rock. You can kind of, maybe you can see a little bit on how I stretch. Feet off the toes on the ground. Stand on Off. On the toes, off the toes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Ah. Okay. So those were some good ways to do the sumo deadlift. Uh, now, if you wanted to sumo squat slash deadlift, you would simply hold the dumbbell like this in front of you, hold it like this, like a goblet squat. I'll go ahead and show you as well. We'll go ahead and do it for this, uh, this last round right here. So last round, again, you guys continue to get water if you need it. I don't need water right now, so. But you can hold it like this. See, I'm holding it in front of me like this. And back to your sumo stance, like that. Like a goblet squat, we'll call it a sumo squat, but it also gonna be all sumo. But if the deadlifts were too hard, then try these. Still squeezing those glutes at the top. more ah. all right all right guys last calf raise then we have one more super set and we're about done so this has been an intense leg workout for me at least so if it's not for you you're using the wrong weights I promise you that you have to make sure that you're using a heavy amount of weights and if the weights are too light because that's all you have then you need to do more repetitions, all right? It's okay to do lightweight, high reps. I'm cool with that, all right? I just want you to make sure you're getting this hypertrophy in, getting this volume in, really killing these quads, killing the hams. I see the hams, man. Y'all gotta get, y'all want hams. Y'all gotta get those hams right. <laughs> glutes, fellas, you need glutes too. I'm talking to y'all, I forgot that I got the calf raises. Let's go, let's get it. Two more. 
sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Get some water. I'm gonna get some water this time. I'm also going to check. Let me get some of these BCAs. I'm also going to check the camera. Make sure it's still playing for you guys. And it is. Camera is still rolling. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do some kneeling squats. And we're gonna superset that with some squat get-ups. So I'll show you what the squat get-ups look like once it's time, but for these kneeling squats, if you have never seen a kneeling squat, you're pretty much sitting like this. And that's going, if your ankles aren't up to par, it's not gonna work that well, but do it to your best ability, all right? You might not be able to drop all the way, but drop down like this, up. Sit down, up. I'm holding the dumbbell right in front of you, give you a little more weight. You don't have to have the dumbbell. I recommend the dumbbell. Squeezing those glutes at the top. Eight. Let's go ahead and do 10. No need to do a lot of those because again, your ankles are all in play as well. And if your ankles aren't up to par, trust me, those won't work. All right, squat get-ups. I know you guys seen these before. I'm gonna show you without the dumbbells first. Pretty much, you're just on your knees and then you're standing up. Up, up, back down. We'll go ahead and do 10 body weight first. Do five. Five of them dropping our right first, picking our right up. Four. Five. All right. Now the rest of the other five, we're gonna drop our left first, left leg first, left knee first. Down. Pick that left one up first. Squat. Just like that. That's like a cardio movement. All that moving around. We gotta catch your breath a little longer, so it's all good. Let's catch our breath and let's get right back to it. It's caught. All right. Right here. Ooh, grab that dumbbell. Sit. Up. Squeeze them glutes. Sit. Come on, uh, one more. Ah. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> so, you wanted to wait. You wanted to lift weights, didn't you? I said you wanted to lift weights. So, let's go ahead and do the squat get-ups with our with our weights. Holding the weight in front of you like this. Let's get it. Control yourself, guys. Five. Ah, all right. Dropping that left knee. <clears throat> Try not to come down too hard on that knee. Control it. <clears throat> come on, two more. Fight. Ah, last one. Ah. Screw that one up and do it again. You want to squat first. Squat, then stand up. I cheated that last one, so I went ahead and gave you another one. I'm not I'm no cheater. Don't get it twisted. I don't cheat. I'm gonna jump right. I'm gonna jump right into it. 
It's the last one. We're gonna make it count, we're gonna fight. Let's go. 10. Two more. Last one. Ah. You can also do two dumbbells for your squat get ups. Let's try it out. Let's try it. Can we do it? Let's go. Ooh. Whew. Gotta control it a little better. it again it's just so natural to go and stand up but we want to squat first two ah. Ooh, last one come on ah. Yes, yes, before we wrap up, make sure it's recording. I yeah, know I can't do nothing unless it's recording. I want you guys to be with me the whole time. All right, that is a wrap for this leg workout, 45 minutes, excruciating pain right here. Quads are, my quads are pumped. I don't know about you guys, hamstrings pumped. Glutes for the nice calves, got the work. This is a full lower body workout right here. 45 minutes, one dumbbell or two, I don't care. But you guys know how we get down. This is the wrap up of week three. We are wrapping in, closing in on the challenge, all right? We have one more new workout of this week coming tomorrow. And then we also have next week, all right? Our last and final week of the challenge. I hope you guys are still pushing through. Again, subscribe now. If this is your first workout, what I want you to do is go back to day one. Start from the top, start from the top. Come on, give us that transformation. I wanna see your before and after, all right? So, preacher, as you see, I'm not capping when I tell you about this workout. This workout is serious. Appreciate you guys for locking in. Appreciate you guys for joining in on the challenge. And I'm gonna go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. For that, this 45 minute workout is a wrap.